Hello, and welcome back to the second stream. It is so good to see you guys again, and I am having a blast. It's It's been crazy since the moment that I streamed the first time, like so many things have popped into my mind and like things that I wanted to, to correct or change or update or things like that. It, I installed right on my monitor, like three different post-its that say breathe, slow down and posture because I had, <laughs> it was so funny to watch myself over um, editing videos and trying to go over and see like what I did right, what I did wrong. And like looking at myself, it was funny because you could tell that the further you got into the stream, the more exhausted or focused, I couldn't tell which one I was. And I was leaving leaning forward towards a monitor and my angle on the camera was utterly disgusting. So I, I was like, okay, I got to change that. I got to be careful. Yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay. So we have books, a mug, a lot of floating things in space. Okay. That's not great. Uh, doggy. Oh, wait, wait, is there a dog in space? That's Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess that's that emergency uh, wrench. Okay. Mm, I'm going to bring the chair. Ooh. Bye. <laughs> There's um, pieces of glass in the air now. I don't know if you can see it. That would be a hazard <laughs> to be in. Imagine you sleep and then get that. Okay, emergency activation protocol. Depending on your situation, the following needs to be connected. Fire, D subsystem sub needs power. Flood, E. Loss of gravity, F. At the same time, subsystems A, B, and C need to be connected. We need the tool to open it up. There you go. Hey, this is off to a good start. Ooh. Wow. Don't even have to lift it up, it does it by itself. D is for fire. So I guess we're fine because there isn't a fire that I know of. Maybe gravity is the one that we need. Bring down the stuff and then hopefully they don't fall on me and then I hit my head and faint. A, B, C, F. Okay, we got it. Hey, green light. Okay, I'm E. Why was I genuinely scared that it was falling on me? Like, I know it's a game, but I like, Duck my head. Ah, this game is really immersive. Not gonna lie. For the captain. Is that a harmonica? That looks like a harmon harmonica. Yeah, I think. Can you use? Wow. Of course, it's a harmonica. It's written at the top of the screen. Um, wow. That. <laughs> nice. Well done. I think my eyesight stops like right there. <laughs> I didn't see the title for like a solid 20 seconds before I noticed that it is indeed a harmonica. Okay, so I'm assuming that is a passcode and we need to find three items that correspond with the three touch things. Um, oh, love you to the moon and back. Aww. That's it. No signature, no indication who sent it. That's boring. Um, I'll open that. Oh, there's another pad. Emergency door unlock prot protocol. In the case of a door malfunction, the ship is equipped with an emergency door mechanism, EDM. Electronic dance music. That's a weird time to have an emergency or EDM music. An emergency is a weird time to have it, EDM music. Anyway, perfect. Noted. So we got to press on the door icon five times once I unlock the captain's uh, computer, I guess. Oh, that's another trophy. Best in class 2236? Damn, that's like 200 years in the future. Let me drop it there. Oops. <laughs> Instead of like dropping it, I dropped myself. That's great. That's uh, Zen 7. Okay, so it's probably here. So we have the 7. So we have the star. And then we have the 7. What the? Oh, I broke the mug. Mug pieces. I'm sorry. Hopefully the captain won't be too mad. Wait, Thor, Loki, Odin. Odin is Thor and Loki's father. Is that part of the same myth mythology? I don't know who that is. Eden. Eden? Is that the sister? <sighs> I have no idea. But um, I'm assuming that there is something. Protector. Oh, these are... Oh, the dog is called Odin. Three minutes in and the whole room is already a mess. Mom would be so disappointed. 
I've never been very different to begin with. That worked! Uh, dear Stargazer Operator, we, we at, wow, we at, they really lost their grammar. There's not, there's no capital on wood. What happened to English in 2020, by 2236? What happened to English? We at the Edgewood, Ed, I can't, I can't pronounce it. Uh, in the unlikely case that a disaster would strike, the, sh the ship is equipped with multiple levels of redundant and manual, manually operatable systems. Eric Edgewood, Edgewood? I still can't say that. CEO. But the four scenarios that we had was Labyrinth of Egypt, Adrift in Space, uh, Ed, Ed, Edwood, Edgewood Mansion. Okay, here we go. Ed, Ed, oh, I'm having a hard time with that word. Edgewood Mansion. Um, and then Omega, Omega Corporation. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's a triangle. Wow. There you go. Okay, so we have one. We have two. Huh. Oh, wow. Because... Uh. You know what? In these games, you have to continue playing. You have to look everywhere. Clearly, it can be hidden anywhere. Door is open. Let's open it. Finish the episode. Off. I do not know what I turned off. Oh, okay. Metal rod. I feel like we might need that. Oh, wait. A drone. Oh, do we get to control a drone? Let me try that. What do we have to do with that? Oh, wait. Is that the game where... Oh, I think I caught on. Okay, so it's one of those puzzles where what you see at the at the top of the line or uh, at the top of the, the rows and at the end of the lines, it's the totals that are supposed to be there. So for example, um, in the first column, there needs to be a total of two. In the second column, maybe zero. Third column, maybe zero. And then in the first line, there has to be one. In the second line, there has to be two. And in the third line, there has to be zero. Never mind. Let me try the other card. Oh, these are in the missing digits, I think. Hold on, I need to take notes. Give me a second. On the side of my, like, because I have three different screens, right? Right. Wow, I don't know what I just said. Um, I have three screens, one with my OBS and YouTube. Then I have my chat here, and I have a OneNote here, which is usually my notes when I begin like a stream of what I want to say and the, the, the game plan that I, I have for it for the day. So let me just create some sort of like little table that I can put in like, the numbers. Okay, cool. So I have put together basically every all the di digits data that I have. You're kidding. The whole time I thought that was a door to the other room that you could not open. Wow. Thruster. Okay, so that's a different pattern. Panel removal tool. Panel removal tool. Oh, metal synthesizer is a replicator capable of turning scrap metal into working parts. The source materials material needs to be pure metal 99% and small enough to fit into the chute opening. After configuration, pressing the execute button will show you a pattern. It will produce an object once the pattern matches one of the recipes available on data pads. So I have two patterns. I have the cone pattern. The cone is probably the thing that's missing on the robot. And then a thruster. Unless that's what I'm missing, a thruster. Okay, that's a read-write card, so we'll be able to write the numbers that we're missing. One, zero, one. And we did it. All right. What did that open up? Uh, what did that open up? Oh, wait, connectors. Hold on. Oh, we could put that there. 
Oh, that's what I have to do. Oops. Oops. Uh, oops. Oh, okay. That's what I have to do. Ah, that's what I have to do. Whoa. What happened there? Maybe I have to turn it off first? This is going to feed the electricity to the wire so that it has power. And there you go. It says no metal instead of no power. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, so I guess I'll just test out one piece of metal. And then... That's porous metal, right? The first, like it goes row by row, so then we need three full ones, and then we need one full, one porous, one full, and then we need three full ones again. Oh, I get it. Hold on, so I need full, right? Oh, okay. All right, so if I go, and then we have to fill Oh, okay, so four fulls, one porous, and then four fulls again. So if I go one, four fulls, one porous, and then four fulls again, then that would technically be the cone, right? Hey, and we have a drone cone. There you go. Okay, so if I have a look at that. Ah, that's what it was. That's in front. Now we need a thruster, which is probably the other missing part. Four times a half half game of full porous, full porous, full porous, full porous. Then we should get it. Oh, so that must be eight. Hey, then, oops, then connect that hey it's alive now we can do rotation right oh look at that wait why isn't that working oh maybe that the access card ah and we finished the episode okay new game oh this is gonna get sciencey and that's a molecule for something. Is that soap? Oh, wow. That's a beaker. That's cold water. That's hot water. I'm just like showing around the place. Due to lack of storage space, we've decided to recycle any aluminum waste on the ship to produce sodium aluminate. Even soda cans can help. Oh, I'm wasting water. And on a ship too? That's terrible. Ah, that's like a Roomba. Does he like vacuum for us? It's a, it really looks like a Roomba. I mean, is there a lot of dust in space? Maybe, maybe. Mm, oh, a donut. I remember these equations from high school in science. It's like the reaction of mixing two compounds together or two chemicals together. And then it, it's what it results in, right? So it transforms. What I don't see in that equations are the energy released or that it takes, right? That to absorb to turn into the resulting form but uh, yeah that's about it oh what is that oh position is kind of manually structural damage detected oh oh okay well I guess it it's like stuck there so maybe I have to Input crystal stuff? Ooh, okay, that's a puzzle. Um, inorganic biology. I have finally figured it out. You can make self replicating artificial organisms using the following S SI, which I think is silicone, uh, oxygen, and hydrogen. I have made three molecules. They have a special symmetry to them. It is beautiful. Um, I had to 3D print them. Wow, that's dedication uh they are very similar you so you need to be observant to find the, th the differences there are three of them one for each type of atom 
Oops. I was one of those kids that really appreciated math and sciences in high school. I don't think I would have ever done it as a career though. I didn't have the patience for it and I wanted to be a little more creative, but I was the type really enjoy classes. And I remember there was a science class, I think it was in, I wanna say grade 10, I think, where I, the, the, the teacher was late. Uh, for science. It was like an early class morning. Early morning class. Didn't make sense. The, and basically, the, the so the teacher, there was like a snowstorm or something, and the teacher was late. So I, for whatever reason, decided to like stand up, go to the front of the class, and start correcting their homework all together, like going question by question through like the textbook questions, and just like correcting the homework with everybody. And then I noticed at some point that the teacher was literally standing outside the door and watching me do it. And he was just watching me do it. And then I think I panicked when it happened because I was like, what if I'm doing something wrong? And then I was like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I have the right answers. Sir, come in. Um, but for like a solid 15 to 20 minutes, I, I was like, just correcting a homework with the class in front and just giving out the answers and explaining why it was that way. So I guess I, I, I had fun when I did that a long, long time ago, but I would have never gotten a job in that because I would have been way too much. You know what? I'm, I just realized that I'm pretty proud of myself because I hadn't used a hint until then. Until now, I mean, since then. Since the beginning of the game, I still haven't used a hint. I've been figuring out everything by myself, so I think I'm going to request a, a hint oh that's what it is 